was cracking YouTube? ¿Qué pasa con mi raza en YouTube? ¿Qué pedo? ¿Qué rollo? Hope everybody's doing really well today. I want to bring you guys a quick Kobe Bryant jersey that I've had sitting for a couple of weeks. I've seen a lot of the homies in the um, jersey community dropping videos in respect to Kobe's birthday a couple of days ago. So this is a little bit late. It's not on his birthday, but I do want to show you how, um, you know, just how glorious this piece is. This piece came out beautifully. Mitchell and S did an awesome job on this authentic. This is the MPLS, obviously the Minneapolis Lakers. I don't know the history of them. Um, one, I'm not a Lakers fan. Two, I'm not a huge Kobe fan. Um, so I don't know the history behind the MPLS stuff. Um, it must have been like, you know, their old, old school team, probably prior to the 60s or prior to the 50s. But this is what they wore in 2001. 2002. So here's the jock tag. Beautiful baby blue color. Not too sure how accurate it is to what the authentics were back in the 2000s or what or to what Kobe wore and the Lakers wore on court. But you have this um, kind of mustard yellow patchwork that is stitched with a very shiny gold stitching just looks amazing you guys Mitchell and S killed this they seriously rocked out on this piece here you have the 2001 9-11 commemorative patch beautiful patch it's huge you guys your embroidered NBA now the only downside on this is there's a little pimple there there's like a <laughs> only person's gonna notice that is myself, but that is a Mitchell and S um, production flaw. Either way, I ain't tripping, man. But that's the stuff that y'all need to be looking out for. This is made in China. This was their newest release. I think they've only released this just recently with the 911 patch. Of course, you've got your you know your hardwood classic tag there that has the hologram on it. And then you got your authentics here, your Mitchell and Ness authentics. So I did use a discount code on this, got it for under retail. There's the back, your straight across Bryant back piece. There's your eight single stitched, everything is single stitched on this jersey. Beautiful gold stitching that has a shine to it around all of this. You have your yellow um, trim, yellow neck trim, and let's take a look at the production tag. So it does say fall of 2021. Camera's picking that up. Just a very soft polyester. I like this a lot better than the rookie Mitchell Ness Authentic that I got, Kobe's rookie jersey. This just seems well made, production quality control, everything on this is on point. Um, so, like I said, I'm not a huge Kobe fan. I respect the man. I respect him for being a outstanding father. And that's how I kind of grew to respect him. But I'm from California as well. And we didn't vibe at all with the Lakers back in the day. So I'm not a Lakers fan by any means. And I'm not a huge Kobe fan. But I need this in the collection, especially with that patch. That patch is sick, so that had to go in the collection. Um, if I, you were a Lakers fan or if you're a Kobe fan, this is a must cop. I think there's still a lot on um, online right now too, so I'd recommend picking it up, um, especially if you got a discount code. I got my Kobe's up there, the AD NXT 360s. Those are super comfortable on the court, you guys. Um, probably one of the most comfortable bas basketball shoes that I've owned. Um, I want to throw this idea out there. Why did Nike name Kobe's shoe line after he retired? Obviously after he retired after death, you know, but it's kind of eerie that they named it after death and here he is dead. So there's some things floating around the internet. Who knows? You know, Nike might have just rolled with that name and other people think it was you know, not a coincidence, but either way, that's that MPLS Kobe authentic Mitchell and Ness 2001, 2002.
peep game, you guys. Go cop if you guys are Lakers fans or just a Kobe fan. You will not be disappointed. Um, very well made jersey, you guys. Except for that pivot they put on my jersey. Come on, Mitchell and Ness. Hope y'all have a great night. Hasta luego. Sale.